Then who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip Girl. Once upon a time in the land called Upper East, a beautiful girl met a beast. Not in the mood, Chuck. It's pretty much the worst birthday ever. Maybe it could be salvaged. Is that our sex tape? It's the Erickson Beeman necklace. No, I couldn't. Yes, you can. Something this beautiful deserves to be seen on someone worthy of its beauty. I really am sorry. What's going on? Do you have something to do with this? No. Dan arranged it for us. What? Us? The us I should have fought for when you called. The us that is not just you and me, but you, me, and your baby. Then... Wh why did you tell me to choose Louis? I thought it was selfish if I was the one to tell you to break up your family. That was the moment you chose not to be selfish? Timing has never been our strong suit. I had it all wrong. Just because Louis is the father of your baby does not mean you should be with him. You should be with me. Why? Because I'm going to love your baby as much as I love you. If you're here to deliver any further humiliation, Dorona can sign for it. Jenny was right. If we keep going, we'll both end up dead, and I like myself too much to let that happen. I assume you feel the same. About myself? More. What do you suggest? A truce. Why don't you just skywrite the word double cross? It'd be more subtle. Look, we can keep blaming each other for what happened that night, or we can admit a heart of truth. It was no one's fault. It was fate. Tragedy. If Serena hadn't kissed Dan, then... Nate wouldn't have been at the hospital looking for her. And Jenny wouldn't have come looking for Nate. If the Rhoda hadn't gone into labor... Maybe everything would be different. But it's not. This is all we have left. But we don't have to. We have a choice. <sighs> Truce. You can see yourself that. I know the way. Ready for your present? Ow! If you wanted to play rough, all you had to do was ask. Taylor. Hi. Hello there. Happy birthday to me. You <sighs> nauseate me. All this talk about how you have to be with Nate or the world will end. Face it. It's over. You sound like a jealous boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, right. You wish.
No. You wish. Please, you forget who you're talking to. So do you. Do you like me? Define like. Oh. Uh, you've got to be kidding. I do not believe this. How do you think I feel? I haven't slept. I feel sick, like there's something in my stomach fluttering. Butterflies? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not happening. Believe me, no one is more surprised or ashamed than I am. Chuck, you know that I adore all of God's creatures and the metaphors that they inspire, but these butterflies have got to be murdered. Fine. It wasn't that great anyway. Thanks. Again. You said I always bet against you, but this time I'm all in. You all bet, sir? What did I say about letting the chips fall where they may? See you next fall. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Tonight. Dance with me. What's the point, Chuck? We're never gonna be them. You said so, remember? It's not for us. Maybe. But it wouldn't change us. Not if it meant losing what we have. And what do we have, Chuck? You tell me. Tonight? Shut up and dance with me.
Please, Chuck. Just let me go. What are you doing here? Trust me, the last thing I wanted to do was show up today, but even your own mother seems to think we need to talk. Well, what I need is for you to... Don't marry him. Chuck. Don't marry him. All those people out there are waiting for me. Yes, they are. But they also want you to be happy, which you're not going to be if you go through with this. Tell me I'm wrong and I'll leave. I can't. It should be us up there, and you know it. It isn't that simple. It's only that simple. You told me you loved me. I know it was true. It is. Of course I love you, Chuck. I've always loved you. I love you more and more every day, if it's even possible to love someone that much. And get out of here with me right now. We can go anywhere just as long as we're together. I know you can't understand. And I don't expect you to. 
But even if I weren't with Louis, I couldn't be with you. Just know that not living with you is the hardest thing I've ever done. But at least I have someone who loves me by my side. You should find someone who loves you too. I have. She's standing right in front of me. I know it sounds crazy, but I really am doing this for you. What are you here to apologize for? Everything else. I'm sorry for losing my temper the night you told me that we proposed to you. I'm sorry for not waiting longer at the Empire State Building. I'm sorry for treating you like property. I'm sorry... I didn't tell you I loved you when I knew I did. Most of all, I'm sorry that I give up on us. And you never did. Thank you. I hope never giving up on people isn't going to be my downfall. That's why you're going to be an amazing mother. You're always there for the people you love. Even when they don't deserve it. You know that's never gonna change. It's okay if it has to. Starting tonight, I'm going to take care of myself. Is that all? Yeah. Just because you're dressed poorly doesn't mean you're not Chuck Bass. Why would I want to be him? You should have told me you got shot. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yourself. I have. Many times in my dreams. The good ones. But if you were really hurt, I would want to know. When I woke up, my ID was gone. Nobody knew who I was. Nobody was coming to look for me. I realized I might be alive, but Chuck Bass doesn't have to be. Changing your name doesn't change who you are. It's a good start. A chance to live simply, earn people's respect, maybe become a person someone could love. Someone did love you. You owe it to her. And everyone else you're leaving behind not to run away. Which is what you're doing. And I don't think that great man you're talking about wanting to be... is a coward. I think he would face up to what he did. I destroyed the only thing I ever loved. I need you to hold all of the sadness I I don't love you anymore. But it takes more than even you to destroy Blair Waldorf. Your world would be easier if I didn't come back. That's true. But it wouldn't be my world without you in it. I'm 
sorry. I screwed up. It's too late, Chuck. I've stood by you through all of this, but I can't watch you self-destruct any longer. Jack, set me up. There's no one to blame but yourself. I believed in you. Your father believed in you. You were the only one who didn't. All I wanted to do was just be there. But today when you call me your wife, <laughs> Made it sound like the ugliest word in the world. Blair, please. <laughs> Plotting against Georgina. We must have dozed off. And you were on the floor. I didn't want to hurt my back. Why? It's not like you ever do anything athletic. Well, that's not entirely true now, is it? Fine. Nothing that requires removing your scarf. It was one time. It was chilly. Enough about the past. Before you landed in my bed, we actually landed on a good idea. Well, I trust you can take it from here. I have a best man's speech to write and no time to write it. Don't worry. I can be bitch enough for both of us. I've still got the scars on my back to prove it. You know, they say if you love something, you should set it free. Oh. You say when you hate something, you should slam the door in its face. I love it when you talk dirty, Blair. myself if anything happened to you but i'm fine because i'm leaving it's a small price to pay for your safety but i don't want to be safe i want to be with you come on let's go together i'll have to send my things Blair, i can't i have to go alone i made a deal those were my father's terms just have faith in me just one last time I've waited too long. I need to be with you now. Blair, trust me. Letting me go is the right thing to do. Don't get on the plane. Bart has already hurt so many people. I know what my father is capable of, but he would never try to kill his own son. Do one thing before you go. Kiss me, Chuck Bass. Jack is right. Chuck and Blair hold hands. Chuck and Blair go to the movies. You said you never wanted us to be boring. Well, we definitely aren't that now. I was a stupid child when I said those things.
never be boring. Blair. Cornelia Waldorf. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> Our prom queen is... I can't believe you're not even defending yourself. Lie to my face. Blame someone, something. I'm sorry, just one moment. Seriously, I know how to count. Our prom queen is... Blair Waldorf. But that's impossible. Oh my God, I won. This is my moment. I own prom. Archibald. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, everyone. Oh, I can't believe Blair won. Yeah, who even voted for? Me. About 150 times. I wasn't putting the Nelly Yuki ballots in, I was taking them out. But what about what she said you did to her limo and hotel and her corsage? The dress looks better without it. Give this to her. It's to the penthouse at the plaza. You didn't think you were the only one who knew about the scrapbook, did you? Trucker, I can't believe I'm saying this, but that was really sweet. I just wanted to make sure she had the perfect night. You're 2009, King and Queen. Aw, who knew the mother Chucker could also play fairy godmother? But if C just made B's dreams come true, why does it feel like our queen is standing with the wrong king? It won't change anything. Anne's right. As long as I'm with you, I'm Hillary in the White House, and I want to be Hillary, Secretary of State, but with better hair. And you'll find another way to show the world you were forced to be reckoned with. We build our futures together. I followed my heart all last year, and it led me nowhere. Now I need to follow my head. You don't need to choose between them. Look at Brad and Angelina. They take turns on top. Yeah, but she won an Oscar first. I'm sorry, but I have to be Blair Waldorf before I can be Chuck Bass's girlfriend. I love you. I love you, too. I don't expect you to wait. So people are meant to be together. Eventually, they'll find their way back. Do you really believe that? I do. So do I. Whenever you love can find me, it breaks through the walls that bind me. I'm Chuck Bass! No one cares. I do. Don't you understand? I'll always be here. I don't want you going anywhere. I couldn't bear it. So whatever you want to do to yourself, please don't do that to me.
One thing I learned from my father's courtship of Lily is the importance of perseverance. That in the face of true love, you don't just give up, even if the object of your affection is begging you to. And one thing I learned from Lily is the importance of forgiveness. She gave my father the gift of a second chance, and in kind, I've watched him become someone actually worthy of that gift. And one day, I hope I'll be lucky enough to find someone who will do the same for me. For the happy couple. Must have paid off. It wasn't what I wrote. I was inspired in the moment. Look, I know I said some horrible things, even for me. You mean blogging to Gossip Girl about our sex life and comparing me to your dad's sweaty old horse? What's your point? What's yours? You don't belong with Nate. I never have, never will. You don't belong with anyone. And when is romantic. Who knew? Now you do. That's all that matters. We're not 